Hi everyone, thank you for showing up, finally. Today's the day. Um, so, I don't know how many of you have heard about Zero Waste PDX, uh, or it's a Facebook group as well. It's a little landing page, a work in progress. Uh, it started out with a map. I don't know if any of you have seen it. It's um, so I moved to Portland three years ago, and um, I had read that book, Zero Waste Home, and I was like, I'm sure I'm going to find some great places to shop in bulk here in Portland. Oh my god, <laughs> yes I do. <laughs> so I just decided to create a little map and uh, add all those resources on it. It started with uh, co-ops, uh, supermarkets with a bulk aisle, and it grew into um, this map. Uh, sorry, going the wrong way. Okay, the categories of the map, bulk resources. Uh, I added vegan, vegetarian, vegan option restaurants because I feel like lowering our meat consumption is also a great way to reduce our impact on the planet. And then I added secondhand and donation resources uh, like Jenica, Betty and other speakers mentioned. Uh, it's important to refuse, reduce, reuse before we actually decide to get rid of what we have and donate. Um, chemical free self-care, I figured it was a great, great idea also to add that to the map. There's tons of amazing hair salons like our sponsor Revolt Hair Studio <laughs> and you know some spas, nail salons that use less chemicals, uh, which is important both for the environment and also for the people who work in those industries. Um, and then usual uh, recycling, composting resources, uh, the sharing economy, pretty important. I'll get into more details later on, but uh, yeah, you know I'm going to talk about libraries, tool libraries and whatnot. Um, home improvement resources, uh, yeah, we'll see that in detail later on. And then skill learning, because you know, the zero waste movement implies a lot of DIY, so how do we learn of those skills? There's resources for that here in Portland. Um, start with bulk resources. Uh, Portland has tons of farmers markets, so I highly encourage you to go check them out. Uh, have uh, yeah, a direct contact with the people who grow your food. I feel like it's important to have that connection. We tend just to you know, go somewhere, buy something, and having no idea where it came from, who made it. So I love that idea of having a relationship with the people who feed me. Uh, farms, why not? Go to Sauvie Island, go apple picking, uh, berry picking. I mean, it's a fun, fun time. I mean, to get away from the city and, you know, realize how much work it takes to grow your own food. Uh, food co-ops. I'm a member of the, I'm a proud member of the Alberta Food Co-op. I love that little bag that they sell that says, I own a shop with friends. I like that idea that I, I own it. I own part of it. So yeah, highly encourage you to do that. And then, you know, I have a list of supermarket with bulk aisles. The zero waste movement could be mm, seen as something for, I don't know, a 30 something white woman who's got time of her hand on her hands. Uh, but I do realize that there's tons of ways uh, to be zero waste, tons of places uh, sell bulk items uh, at different price range. So, you know, from Whole Foods to Winco, many different resources. Uh, and then specialty stores, uh, thanks to the Zero Waste PDX group, I discovered Ota Tofu, and now I'm so excited to be, be able to bring my own container and get my tofu in bulk, I don't know. If any of you knows about that, I'm sure tons of you know about it, but I mean, my mind was blown. <laughs> um, and yeah, apothecaries, I don't know, just bring your own containers, even to a place that doesn't necessarily advertise the fact that they sell in bulk, but you know, you might, you might fi find someone who is going to be excited that you brought your own container and would be very happy to fill it out for you. Vegetarian restaurants, a uh, little shout out to Food Fight Grocery. They have an amazing website with tons of resources, uh, uh, tons of uh, recommendations for restaurants. So I shamelessly took their list and added it to my map. Uh, the Portland Vegans Facebook group also has been an amazing resource for me to find uh, yeah, to find options. I'm, I'm not a vegan, but I'm very interested in, in that uh, lifestyle. So yeah. 
What else? Green restaurants, farm to table restaurants. I mean, there's tons of those here in Portland. Just the idea that the place it was places where you're going to be eating know where their food comes from. I've attended a couple events um, where I volunteered and I was just asking where does that the salmon you're selling and cooking come from and people don't really know that so you know just support support local makers support local restaurants local farmers uh, there's a great uh, website that's uh, called the Green Restaurant Association and they have a list of uh, you know vegan restaurants of course but also uh, farm to table restaurants or places like Bamboo Sushi that you know only take fish that's been sustainably um, harvested. What's the word for it? <laughs> Secondhand and donation uh, centers. So like I said, first refuse, then reduce, then reuse, repair. Like you mentioned, Betty, it's very important to try to repair something before you throw it away. Um, we talked a little uh, before the conference about fix it fairs um, if any of you has not attended any of these please do or if you have a skill if you're good at repairing things do volunteer for fix it fairs it's I mean it's empowering to realize that you can fix something yourself I just ordered a part to repair my vacuum cleaner and I, I felt so happy that I unscrewed 20 screws and I managed to change that belt and everything was working fine afterwards um, <laughs> what else? Exchange. I love the idea of uh, hosting a swap, clothes swap at your house and just exchanging things with friends. Uh, there's also one of our sponsors uh, that's called Schwab. I don't know whether you heard about it. It's a shop in Selwood. Uh, you can become a member and just... Oh, I'm not going to explain it well. Um, anyways, <laughs> you can have a subscription and every month come pick up three items and bring back three items that you ha had in your closet. I, I love, I love that idea. Um, consignment store is also a great, great option. I mean, if you think before you buy, you're going to invest in pieces that are going to last. I mean, if you eventually get tired of them, it's good to have pieces that are going to have a great resale uh, value so that you can bring it to a consignment store and actually make money during the process and you know last resort donate <laughs> there's great ways to exchange with your neighbors we mentioned the buy nothing groups uh, next door is also a great option and of course you can always donate to charities um, at goodwill chemical free self care well nothing much more to say about it I just think about what you put we think a lot about what we, we put in your, our body uh, I'm talking about food but we don't necessarily think about how many bad things are in the cosmetics I realize when I I mean you've been able to tell that now I come from friends <laughs> um, and I was amazed that about the fact that um, there's not a lot of regulations in terms of what makers can put into cosmetics. Um, I discovered that app that's called Think Dirty. I don't know whether any of you has heard about it. You can just like scan the barcode of a product and it tells you all of the chemicals that is in there. I mean, I pretty much went all through all of the products that were in my in my. Um, bathroom <laughs> and just threw everything away I was like oh my god how am I putting all those things in my body those chemicals so anyways long story short there's great places in town that sells uh, safe products for you and you can also I mean if you feel crafty try making your own Recycling, composting, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. You just find those uh, resources on the map. And I also added a couple of things that I found myself or that members of the Zero Waste PDX group uh, gave me, for example. I realized that, you know, if you go to IKEA, they have a mini recycling center there where you can bring your batteries, light bulbs and whatnot. So, you know, I always, I don't know, I drive. <laughs> so I always have a little box in my car where I have all of the things that I'm going to bring, be bringing next time I'm going to the stores. Target also, they take uh, printing, uh, printer cartridges and um, old phones. I mean, yeah, just, I just, 
you know, keep note of those things, take pictures. I don't know if you're a member of the group, you realize that I post those field trip uh, <laughs> pictures whenever I go somewhere. I like to share the fact that, you know, there's another option than, you know, the recycling landfill. You can, yeah, you can find local resources. Um, sorry, I keep going the wrong way. Sharing economy. Oh my God, Portland is amazing. You know libraries, uh, you might have heard of tool libraries, I discovered kitchen libraries, and then toy swap uh, places. Um, I couldn't put these on the map, but there's also um, food swaps, and also uh, plant swaps. Like, you can just take a little cutting like from your house plants and then share them with other people. Uh, Google it, you'll, f you'll find them. It's just so much fun to, and you know, you come back home with great food. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not a good cook. My husband's here to, <laughs> to <laughs> attest about that, but they also accept cosmetics. So I did bring a couple bath salts and, you know, lip balms and exchange them for amazing cookies and salads and preserves and so many other things. So I highly encourage you to do that, to check them out. I usually post them in the Facebook group, uh, but the places, the spots fill out very, very quickly. So keep your eye out. Um, what else? Green home improvement. We get those questions a lot in the group. Uh, people, you know, buying houses, refurbishing their house, and how can they do it, do it in a um, conscious manner, the green way? There's tons of great resources on Portland's website, uh, but there's also amazing resources in town. I mean, we all know the rebuilding center, salvage works. Um, Metro Paint is a good resource uh, as well. And then some local businesses like Green Depot, Rejuvenation. I mean, there's tons of secondhand stores and great, great resources and great ways to make your house greener, cleaner, and unique. Skill learning. Um, I love learning new things. Uh, I had a one word for theme from my year and this year's goal for me was learn <laughs> so i took an insane amount of classes from sewing to ceramics whatnot uh, shoemaking uh, <laughs> i got in touch with someone whose name is rachel and she teaches you how to make your own shoes um, you can find tons of these i mean i'm gonna do some yeah, publicity, but you might have heard about Airbnb experiences. And yeah, that's how I found classes, but also love, you know, the sewing studio clam house where I learned how to make my own tote bag. What else? The Fow Woods. Do you know the Fow Woods? Those two amazing artists, sisters. Yesterday they were teaching a sew your own produce bags workshop at the farmer's markets. So, you know reach out to these people and yeah, learn a skill or ask a friend, ask a neighbor. I mean, there's tons of things that you can learn. Like my friend Anne is gonna teach me about uh, worm bin. So, Cause I do that in my backyard, but I'm so curious to know about that because that's a question that comes up a lot in the Zero Waste PDX group, people who live in multifamily housing that don't have a compost uh, service so i think that's the only option for them so far or asking f to neighbors on next door whether they can share their green bin with them but you know <laughs> yeah so learn about worm bin yeah, uh, when are you going to teach that or that workshop and <laughs> okay i'll post it in the group sign up for the group and <laughs> you'll be able to book, book your spot um i should keep that in my hand just to do it the right way more resources, resourceful PDX. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention that. I stole of you all of your resources. <laughs> no, it's it's a great, great, great resource. Uh, check it out, Zero Waste. No, resourcefulpdx.com. Uh, the Metro Hotline, do call them whenever you have a question. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're a member of the Zero Waste PDX Facebook group, you know that every four posts I'm going to answer, <laughs> I'm going to reply, do call the hotline. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> they have all the answers. So, And, you know, we don't know it all. I mean, I'm a master recycler, but that doesn't mean that I know everything. I just know a little bit more or I know who to ask. So there's that. Uh, yeah, I host uh, Zero Waste Home Tours. So you can just sign up 
on Airbnb experience, whatever, reach out to me and yeah, go check out how I do that at home. I mean, we've learned so much from Jenica. Uh, it can be a little intimidating to be like, where do I start? And by all means, when I start the the tours, I usually say I do own a trash can. <laughs> I do drive a car and I do use toilet paper, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, just it's it's fun. I mean, just you know, someone living in my, uh, sitting in my living room and you know us just chatting about about zero waste. I think it's a uh, it's a good way to get your food into that lifestyle. Uh, I also do zero waste shopping experiences for you know people who are intimidated about going to the store for the first time with their own jars. Like I can like take you by the hand and we can go together. Um, Resourceful PDX, the hotline, the Facebook group. We are now 650. <laughs> I'm so happy. I hope I will. There will be more of you today. <laughs> uh, zero waste home tours, zero waste shopping, and that's it. Zero waste PDX is where I'm at. Get in touch with me. Ask me questions. Um, we've talked about that already, but yeah, suggestions for the next events. Uh, thank you so much for, to all of the volunteers and all of you who came up today. Uh, thank you for bringing your own cup. I'm so proud of you all. <laughs> <laughs>